he's a trooper. Little People Big World star Tori Roloff has revealed how her four-year-old son Jackson is doing after he received surgery to help correct the bowing in his legs. Rahum and Lil Man is doing better than we could ever have asked. Tori shared via her Instagram stories on Tuesday, November 30th. Alongside the message was a sweet photo of her and her eldest as he gave a thumbs up. Thank you all for the sweet notes and prayers. We felt so lifted up today. Earlier in the day, the TLC star shared an Instagram photo of Jackson lying in a hospital bed. Our sweet Jackson had surgery today to help correct the bowing in his legs. The soon-to-be Mama 3 wrote. This kid time and time again blows us away. He was so brave and confident. He made Zack and I so proud as he talked with the doctors and nurses and was wheeled away without worry. Tori went on to say that the experience was one of the hardest days she has ever had. Watching your child in pain is never something a parent wants to go through. However, we are trusting his doctors and our Lord that this was the best decision for him. Family members were quick to send their thoughts and prayers to the family and baby Jay. Love you, Jackson. So brave. Audrey Roloff, who is married to Zach's brother Jeremy, commented. Tori's other sister-in-law, Isabel Sophia Rock, who is expecting her first child with husband Jacob Roloff, added, Love you, buddy. You're one tough cookie. This grandpa is cheering my little fellow on, Matt Roloff shared. Jackson and his sister, two-year-old Lila Ray, were born with achondroplasia, the most common form of dwarfism. Their father, Zach, was born with the same form. Recently, Tori shared the happy news that she and Zach are expecting baby number three on November 17th and discussed the possibility that their child will also be born with achondroplasia. Both legs are a common side effect of achondroplasia, and both Tori and Zach have kept an eye on Jackson's growth. The pair previously voiced their concern about their son's bowed legs, especially since Zag had to have multiple surgeries to fix his own bowed legs. When the reality star was still a child, one of those surgeries consisted of having his legs broken in three places to have metal plates inserted into his legs to help them straighten. As you can imagine, the recovery was painful. I had to take lots of painkillers and I slept a lot, Zag previously said of the experience. During season 2 of the reality show, Zag had to have screws added to his legs to help with his mobility. Naturally, the couple wanted to be proactive when it came to Jackson's health. During a previous episode of LPBW, they discussed how early action might lead to a better quality of life for their son. I think with Jackson's legs, it's mostly just like, I don't want it to get to a point where he's hurting because I'm pretty sure it's gonna have to be dealt with at some point in his life, and I just want to make sure that we're ready to move on it, Tori said while chatting with Zach. I just don't want to let it go too far, I want to know how to avoid two surgeries like you had. It's unknown what surgery Jackson received or what his recovery will look like, but it is certainly a good sign that he's at home recovering with his family. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.